Hi, my name is Nikki Bassey, and I'm the president and CEO of the North Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce. And today I have the great honor and privilege to sit down with our honorary mayor, Miss Nancy Cartwright. Thank you. I'm really glad to be here, Nikki. Thank you so much for sitting down with us, Nancy. You are so busy and you're doing so much in your career and the community, and you still are so generous with your time for the Chamber. Well, it's my honor, it really is. And the Chamber of Commerce has a real purpose. It's not just about people getting together and, and just doing a ribbon cutting ceremony. It's really more than that. It has to do with connecting up with people that are like-minded in terms of what the definition of a real community is. It gives me great pleasure to be able to do that because I believe in family and I believe in community. You have one of the most recognizable voices, <laughs> right? And I say voices because you are the voice of Bart Simpson, but you're the voice of how many Simpson characters? Let's see, there's Bart, Nelson, Ralph, Kearney, Todd, Database, and Maggie. And don't forget, <laughs> Rufus the Naked Mole Rat on Kim Possible and Chucky from the Rugrats. Those are my most, and, and Mindy from Animaniacs, those I would say are my most favorite um, cadre of characters that I, that I just love doing. It's so fun. You must have so much fun, though. I do. I have a lot of fun with it, and I actually read to my kids when they were really little and would do different voices for them. And they would be like, no, mommy, just be mommy. <laughs> Nancy, you're such a fun person. And that's why you're just so good at what you do. And, and people love to be around you. But you also are very passionate about serious causes. Yeah. Recently, I was beyond blessed to be able to come to the opening night of your new exhibition. And um, it's the Reverse Effects exhibition. And I just want to give you an opportunity to tell some folks about what you're doing and, and what they really should hear more about. Oh, wow, thank you. Um, I've been painting for years and years, but have not been promoting myself uh, as an artist that way. Um, I wanted to wait until I felt like there was something that of a value that I wanted to communicate. I use acrylic, I use clear acrylic, obviously. It's a quarter of an inch thick, like that. But I paint on this side so that you can view it on this side. So you are looking through a quarter inch plastic. So in order to do that, I have to think a little bit backwards. So if I'm going to paint a portrait, for example, I would paint the pupils of the eyes, and then, like you, I'd paint the dark pupils of your eyes, then the blue, then the white, then I'd put the skin behind it, and I'd just go back, it's layered on backwards, and that, this is the original technique of animation. And I find it really fun and challenging, it just makes it more fun for me. But the topic is what really captured my heart. Ten years ago, I met a woman, and they were, we were actually shooting a documentary here in my house. And I met this woman, and she was on a, um, a panel of other women, about seven other women, and they were all talking about losses that they had. Their, their children had died from overdoses or suicide of prescription psychotropic drugs. And this one woman, her daughter was only 12 years old, and she was prescribed an antidepressant by the child psychiatrist because she had anxiety in taking a test. And then after that, the daughter had hanged herself. She was only 12 years old, and she just didn't know what she was doing, but it was just tragic, and it just got my heart. It, it <clears throat> excuse me, it broke me up, and I decided to use my position as an artist, as a celebrity, but putting up 300 billboards and bus wraps and um, bus shelter posters uh, with my art on it and, and focusing people to the Know More About Drugs website. And then once you're there, you find out about these F food and Drug Administration medication guides that are supposed to be legally, are supposed to be presented to any parent or caretaker whose child is being put on a psychotropic drug or a um, prescription opioid. Because the medication guides, again, put out by the FDA, they show the most egregious side effects. Like one of the more popular um, ADHD drugs, the side effects are are psychotic behavior, um, 
suicidal ideation, dependency, which means pretty much addiction. So you get a kid on a, on a medication at age five, where's that kid gonna be at age 15? I remember when I was pregnant and one of my close friends said, you have to be your child's advocate. Even when you feel like you're talking to someone who maybe has more authority, like yeah. a doctor, right? Yeah. It really is our responsibility ultimately yeah. to know what what we're giving our child because if, if we don't watch out for them, who will? Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. You need to know know all the information so you can then go to the doctor and have an educated conversation with him or her to make the best decision for your child. It was your work was so beautiful and it was also haunting. And the the headlines that you shared of real stories of real people yeah. that have been impacted and the statistics. Yeah. And just thank you so much because I've had so many conversations with other parents since that night, wow. which I believe is probably one of the very intended effects that you that you wanted to have happen. Yeah, right? this is really good because it is very much a grassroots campaign. If someone's had a personal story that has touched them and they want to get involved, how can they do that? Yeah, they can just go to knowmoreaboutdrugs.com and there's a contact information there. Um, you can reach out to us and I would love for that to happen. Thank you for asking because that's exactly what it's gonna take. People finding out about it and knowing about it and spreading word of mouth, routing them to the Know More About Drugs website so that they can then find out about the, the um, FDA medication guides and become informed. You guys are saving lives. I mean, you know that, right? Yeah. There's lives, there's children's lives that will be saved. We've already heard stories of people coming into the exhibition and finding out about it, and they said, I was ready to go in and make this decision, and I didn't do it. So I go, wow, okay, chalk one up for our side. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's, it's beautiful. That's the idea. Thank you so much for sitting down uh, with me today and just yeah. taking the time. We really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, just let our friends know we are the North Valley Regional Chamber of Commerce. You can visit us at nvrcc.com and you can learn more about our nonprofits. We have the best businesses in the Valley, so come check them out and we'll see you next month. <laughs> I love Nikki. <laughs> She's my girl right here. <laughs>